What's up you guys? It's your girl Lovely and I am back with another video. I know you guys haven't heard me do a voiceover in a while but I decided to do one today to walk you guys through this balloon mosaic frame tutorial. But before we get started go ahead and hit the like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and also if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them later. But without further ado let's just get straight into it. So as you guys know, it's graduation season. So this mosaic frame is the 2022 graduation season inspired. If you'd like to get this template, the link for it will be in the description box down below for you to purchase the digital file on the Etsy shop. So all I'm doing is cutting out the template onto my foam board and then I'm using the back of my Zacto knife to imprint the line of the cap onto the foam board. Then I'm gonna go in with my pencil to trace it out. I put a filter over this part of the video so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing with the pencil. So in order to create the side frames or the walls of my mosaic frame, I would have to cut out foam board strips. So what I'm doing now is creating six inch strips of foam board so I can make the walls of the frame. And you guys are going to see how I do it. I use my metal ruler to measure out six inches of the foam board. Then I cut it out and then I just repeat that step until I get all of the strips that I think I'll need. And the key to getting straight neat lines is using a metal ruler and a sharp Zacto knife. I'll have a link in the description box down below of my replacement Zacto knife blades because I go through them a lot. I get a pack that's about 400 and I use about five new blades for each mosaic frame. That is the key to getting really sharp and neat lines for your foam board. So in order to make my foam board flexible, I'm going to be creating scored lines on my foam board strip just so it can go around all of the curves. And because I'm doing a small balloon mosaic, this means I'll have a lot of smaller curves and I'm going to be making half inch strips on my foam board. For bigger numbers, like five, inch, five, like five feet numbers, then I could... Um, allow I can let the one inch score line slide but because I'm doing smaller curves then I'll have to use half inch score lines you guys are going to see how I make that I'm just cutting through the top and the middle layer and not cutting all the way through the foam board this allows your foam board to be flexible so you can bend it around your curves on your balloon mosaics <music> And this is how your foam board is supposed to look when you make half inch scored lines. And then I'm going to be breaking it up just so it's easier to curve around my numbers when it's time for me to glue it. But this is exactly how your foam board strip is supposed to look when you make your scored lines. And then the rest of the video should be pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to be using all of those six inch strips that I created earlier to measure out each section and then glue it. I also use a lot of scotch tape when I'm making my blue mosaics. When I measure out a section, I tape the area before I glue it. This helps me move faster. It keeps the foam board in place while I glue it. And so after I glue it, I can just move on to another section while it dries. I don't really have to hold on to it and wait until it dries.
You guys, I'm sure I probably don't have to explain this, but someone might need an explanation. But this is how I attach my foam strips together. I just put the glue on the one that's already onto the frame and then attach the other one next to it. But first, I always measure it and make sure that it's a perfect fit before I move forward. You guys, this is a perfect example of the reason why I have to create half inch score lines instead of one inch score lines for these smaller frames. This is a very tight section and the one, the half inch score lines make the, the foam board more flexible to go around curves and, you know, corners like these, just like the middle of this frame. It's a three feet frame and the curves in the middle of this frame was very very tight and small so when you're doing smaller frames make sure that you make your score line half of an inch instead of one inches it'll really help <laughs>
All right, you guys, that is all for this video. Please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Make sure that you check out the description box. All of the links for all of the materials that I use in this video will be linked down below in the description box. Also, if you have any questions about this video, if you didn't understand something, please be sure to drop the question down in the comment section and I will be sure to answer it. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I will definitely catch you all in my next tutorial. Bye!